The second week of July will feature some of the hottest temperatures that we've experienced so far this season across Canada. Meteorologist Rhythm Reek here to give us some of the numbers and we're also going to talk about how barrel is going to hold the humidity across eastern Canada. Some of those headlines are coming up but Rhythm first let's start with the heat dome in California because wow that's going to play a huge role in our temperatures across BC and Alberta. Now eastern ends of the U.S. and Canada have already experienced this heat dome. This time it's for the west. This heat dome is going to be perched over California for the next three to five days. But all of that heat that's going to spill into regions across British Columbia and an area like Lytton has already become the hotspot for two days in a row for Canada and also has been the hotspot of 2024 so far this year. Now, when we talk about this heat, it's not completely unprecedented. We've seen heat domes go into BC before. Of course, we think about 2021 and how awful that was for so many people. So let's put some perspective here. What kind of numbers are we talking about in this upcoming forecast? Now, I can give everyone a little bit of sigh of relief that is not going to be as hot as what we see saw back in 2021. Nonetheless, we are looking at temperatures for the next three to five days being seven all the way upwards of 15 degrees above average. But Rachel, one place I want to highlight is going to be right along the coastline, especially for the south coast. You will be expecting a lot more of that humidity over the next five days. This is just a snippet of Tuesday of Vancouver feeling like 34 comparative to the interior. That's going to be looking at more of that dry heat. So one of the places you definitely want to be uh, near for the next couple of days is going to be the water. It's going to help to keep you slightly cool, but definitely still going to be feeling that heat. Absolutely. And across the interior of BC, this is where we could see the first first 40s of the season. That would be some of the hottest temperatures we've seen so far this year. Now rhythm as a heat dome comes in, it brings a lot of hot weather and a lot of dry weather. So the lack of rainfall does have the fires unfortunately on the rise across BC. And that's going to be that ridge that builds in across the region. Any moisture that wants to move in, that's going to get diverted further towards the north. But fortunately for the southern parts of British Columbia over the past 30 days, what we have seen is a more uh, enhancement or an above normal amount of precipitation. So that means the ground is wet. One of the areas we're going to have to watch is going to be the central coast as well as into areas like Alberta. But when we take a look at the wildfire status of just today morning, what we are noticing is that we still have 16 wildfires out of control. Nonetheless, there is st still some good news with that considering we've put out about 23 in the last 24 hours and we only have had four or new wildfires begin in the last 24 hours. All right, it seems like there is a much better handle on the wildfires across BC this year compared to last, that's for sure. Now, Rhythm, as we talk about this heat, it will move across the country. So how will it impact Alberta and the rest of the prairies? Well, that ridge is going to start to shift over towards the east as we're heading towards our Wednesday, Thursday. So across the prairies, Wednesday for Alberta, that's going to be your hottest day. You're going to get to those low to mid 30s as well. Similarly, for Saskatchewan, but as this heat shifts further towards the east, Winnipeg, you really don't get to see a lot of this heat prolonged or right through Manitoba. It's going to be the southern portions of Manitoba, and it's as we head into Friday and Saturday that Winnipeg really start to, starts to see some of this heat. Now let's talk about humidity because places like Windsor, Niagara Falls, Toronto, Montreal, Moncton holding on to humidity into the 30s for the entire upcoming week. Why is that? And that's going to be all because of barrel. We don't expect that when we're talking about like a hurricane like this, but we have the heat dome towards the west and in the east we have that high pressure system. Barrel's just going to be wrapping itself right around that and that's going to cause a lot of that moisture to push right across into areas of Ontario as well.